while I have seen some discourse on social media to the effect that the officers intentionally left the young man in the van, I, I just can't buy that. Um, I don't think that they would do something like that. And uh, again, to prove a person's intent is extremely difficult. Um, I, again, I say they are human beings. I don't want nobody to think that I'm trying to defend the police because I'm not defending their actions. I've said that what they did was wrong and it has to be dealt with. But at the same time, I must be fair and I cannot make as assertions that is not supported by evidence. Um, I cannot say that it was deliberately done, but certainly there was some degree of gross negligence and carelessness. And that is what we're looking at. Which will lead to a very hefty lawsuit, you expect? Well, certainly the, the family will have a right to sue, and I am certain that they're going to sue, and we have to pay the price. Sir, have you spoken with these police officers? Are they saying that they simply just forgot that <coughs> man there? I would not speak to them. Um, that would be done by the investigators. Um, but from what I'm told, that is what they're saying, that they forgot that they had the man in the van. And again, remember the police officers were working, Sanokin face, it's a long day. You know, they're human beings, they get fatigued. Ruled out that they were not intoxicated themselves? Um, from what I'm told by the officer who, who was in charge of the grounds, the officers were not drinking. But have they given a sample? We wouldn't do samples for that, no.